Hello and welcome to the Tips for Manufacturing Multimedia Training for Mastercam X. We're going to walk you through an introduction to the Mastercam X environment. Right now we're looking at a screen that shows uh, Mastercam as it should look if you've just opened it up. So we have a floating toolbar here in the middle that says what's new in X3. For right now, I just want you to close that. So just click the little X in the upper right hand corner. Next, I want to remove some of these toolbars that are up on top. I want both our screens to look exactly the same. And to do that, I want you to go up to the top to Settings, and then go to Toolbar States, and I want you to select the Drafting Toolbar Configuration, and hit Load, and then OK that. And in this case, it brings up the What's New toolbar again. We'll just close that again. So what we did there is we just cleaned up the top toolbar here, got rid of a few icons that we're not going to need for this phase of the training. Initially, I want to talk about the areas of the screen. To start with, up at the top, we have the menu bar. The menu bar is similar to any Windows application where you would have File, Edit, View, these bring pull-down menus with all the different Mastercam commands. The next area we have are just the standard toolbars. Now toolbars are dockable sections of icons that you can move anywhere you want. So we can easily grab this and put it in any location. So this is convenient if you're using a particular group of functions. You can grab that group of functions, drag it down onto the screen, so it's easier to access those functions while you're working. When you're done, we're going to grab the blue bar on that icon group, bring it up to the top here, and what I usually do is just move it a little bit above where I want to place it and let go, and it drops it in that location. So those are your toolbars. All these toolbars can be turned on or turned off. You can grab any of these toolbars. This is the drafting expanded toolbar. And we can close that by hitting the little X in the upper right corner where it says Close. Next area below the toolbars is the Auto Cursor Bar. Now the Auto Cursor Bar is where you're able to put in numbers and pick how you want to um, add things into your drawings. We're going to get into that in more detail, but let's just suffice to say that the Auto Cursor Bar is where you can give it coordinate input information. The next area over from that is the general selection bar. This is the bar that you use to select things. So when you need to pick a contour or grab points or select from a solid, those choices will be available to you on this toolbar. Now as you can see, most of these are grayed out right now, and that's because right now it's not prompting us to select anything. Below that is the ribbon bar, clearly defined with the words ribbon bar. The ribbon bar changes depending on what you're doing at any given moment. So when you're creating lines, the ribbon bar will have information or options that you can select regarding the creation of lines. If you are creating arcs, the ribbon bar will change and give you options for creating arcs. So the ribbon bar is an area that you want to keep your eyes because whenever you make a selection, different choices will become available to you on the ribbon bar. Over in this area we have the Operations Manager. Operations controls toolpaths, solid model features, and if you have Mastercam Art, functions for Mastercam Art. Right now we're going to leave this on toolpaths. In this area we have the graphics window. This is where you'll see your part and see your toolpaths. Now we have some toolbars down the side here, and we're going to call those the sidebar. There's two toolbars that I have over here on the side. One of them is for my quick selection of items, and the other toolbar here is our MRU function bar. Now MRU stands for Most Recently Used. We're going to move that back over to the side here and dock it in place. The reason for having the most recently used bar is because 
there are things that we'll be using over and over again as we go through any drawing process. And it's easier to pick those from my most recently used list than to possibly go up to the top and grab it from maybe a pull-down menu. So if I had just used Create Ellipse, Create Ellipse would be listed up here in the most recently used list. Down at the bottom of the screen, we have the status bar. The status bar will give us information about whether we're working in 2D or 3D, how to change to different graphics views, selecting different construction planes, what our current Z depth is at, our color, what level we're drawing on, attributes like levels, colors, line styles, and here we have line styles and line width. This area here is the WCS that controls our work coordinate system.